Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Emma Oliver. A new bill is trying to lower the strength of medical marijuana. Courtney Patterson is in the newsroom to explain how that could impact an industry that's predicted to be worth around two and a half billion dollars in the next four years. The medical marijuana industry added nearly 15,000 jobs last year in Florida, but a new bill may slow the industry's rapid growth. Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Free just released this video urging lawmakers to vote against it. House Bill 1455 is trying to cap THC levels and create new marijuana taxes, while other states, like Virginia, are legalizing marijuana. Republicans in Florida are trying to turn back the clock. Representative Spencer Roach claims the high THC levels could lead to an opioid level addiction crisis. Opponents argue his outrageous claim is just not true. In the newsroom, I'm Courtney Patterson. The bill still has a long way to go. It's yet to be heard in the Senate and still has several House committees ahead of it. According to the latest U.S. Census, over 600 people move to Florida every day. That's having a massive impact on the housing market despite the pandemic. Reporter Jeanette Troya spoke to an economist to find out if this is the right time to buy or sell your home. A lot more sell signs have popped up across Florida neighborhoods like this one. Home sales in the Sunshine State have more than doubled in some areas since 2019. That's according to the latest Element Market Report. A strong demands for homes and low interest rates help fuel the highest home sales since 2006. This is what makes today's what we would call the 2021 housing bubble a little bit different than the 2008-2009 housing bubble. Last year, home sales price increased more than 10% in Tampa Bay. The rapid rise has some worried about another housing crash, but lending standards are much tougher now, and Tampa is very different than it was 15 years ago. More people are moving here than ever before. Zillow, even least Tampa among the five markets, is expected to be the hardest in 2021. It's a good time to sell a house. If you're in the market to buy a house right now, I'd kind of tell you to wait. More constructions will increase supply, and economists predict that will help level out prices for those looking to buy. I'd say we're probably 12 months away from that, where the market reaches a point where individuals are just going to say no. No more. I'm sorry. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Jeanette Troya. This week kicks off the annual Tampa Bay Beer Week. The Brewer Association says small and independent brewers lost about 8% in sales last year. Breweries will host small events this week to comply with COVID-19 safety rules. Local shops will offer beer tastings and brewing competitions through Sunday. Thank you for watching Florida Focus. Have a great evening.